Okay, come on, Enoch. Come on. So now I've got Enoch here. We're gonna go get the free rangers to go back through the woods, if at all possible, without letting Enoch actually do anything. Come on, Nox. Good boy. Go, 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 go. Come on, Enoch, come. Enoch, come. Go, 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 free rangers. There they go, right back to their house. Good boy, you smell them, don't you? You put them right back in the woods. Enoch enjoyed that for sure. Enoch, learning to be a farm dog. The only reason I'm letting him stay back here as long as I am is so the free rangers think he's over here. Or I'd put him, I'd take them all back in. But he's doing good, I'm proud of him. He's listening. Here we go, let's see the plucking. Well, water may not be hot enough. Alright, gotta go heat some water and then we'll show you how that quail plucker works. Enoch, get out of that. Drop it. You are eating bird parts. He got a head out of that box. There go. Round and round. Where he stops, nobody knows. Still got a few wing feathers, but that's not bad at all. Is it, babe? Nope. I'm so excited to cook quail with the skin on. These guys are smaller than ours. Yeah, well, they're crosses. They're not pure jumbos like ours. Okay, well, she doesn't have a scent gland, but her feet. <laughs> okay, so he cut her feet off. <laughs> and now he is going up the spine, beside the spine, with his scissors, and that is how you open it to gut a quail. And we're saving the livers and the hearts to feed to the dogs. See, you get some. It's not like we're mean. We give you some. How many does that make now? Two? Four. Four. Yay! We're going to clean them all out and really examine them later. Well, yeah, you do your final right quality now. control right we're now. Both, there's the warmth and yeah. finish them up and bag them up and all that. Yeah, Probably yeah. Back them or whatever we do with them. Yeah, it's cold enough outside today. Yeah, They'll be fine. Today, guys. You're being so good, not barking at the chickens. I'm so proud of you. So proud. So proud. Liking that quail plucker. Gotta love something that's that cute. How cute is that quail plucker? Isn't that cute? So cute. Yeah, I like tiny things. My tiny mortar and pestle. My tiny dogs. My giant rabbits and my tiny chickens. <laughs> Look at this boy in shorts. Hardcore, brother. Oh, the water got on my leg. Need me to boil some more water? Well, I'll, you want me to go ahead and get it boiling? We're probably not gonna get all these guys done today. Yeah, I know that. This is only one of the Well, I would love to help, but I don't, <laughs> I don't feel good. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just filming. I'm the, I'm the camera woman. A circle of light. Take quill guts and turn it into air. It's the circle, circle of life. There they go. I can't tell what she's got. There it comes. Oh, now the silky got it. Oh, there they go. Running, 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 running. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. They're coming back. Oh, she's not happy. Marva, let her eat her guts. Probard, you get Marva, honey. What happened to your head? Marva, what happened to your head? She's got all a mud head. Her whole face, that and and her, and her poof are muddy, like like somebody beat her up and shoved her head in a mud hole. <laughs> You're smart. You're over here hiding, eating your guts. Oh, she got a big piece of guts. She's so happy. 
Let me eat your guts. Let me eat your guts. Is it delicious? Is it delicious? All right, Nathaniel, come stand right here. And let's stare into the sun because that's what good yeah, YouTubers let's, let's... do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this small glimpse into the world of quail harvesting. We still have quite a few to go, but I mean, how many quail can you watch get plucked in a plucker, really? How many do you really want to watch? So, I guess that's about it for us. Chris, do you have anything to add? Y'all need to start growing some quail. Yeah. Yeah. They're a little blessing on the homestead, guys. They're super productive, and uh, yeah, they taste great. Eggs, meat, hatch them in 18 days, and then they lay you an egg in six weeks. You can't beat that with a stick. Thanks for joining us. I hope you have a blessed week this week. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you here next time at the Black Pack Homestead. Bye-bye.